Hey everyone. Uh, so today I want to talk about teacher leadership. Uh, this is a concept that was kind of put into like a real meaningful spot in my mind and my heart. Um, after my first year of teaching, I was on a plane with one of my administrators at the time who really encouraged me to be a teacher leader. Uh, and, you know, being a first year teacher, I remember thinking that, like, how can how can I be a leader? Um, how can I, you know, lead when I'm brand new and I'm just surviving, keeping my head above water? Uh, and I really sat with it because it, like, I was really challenged that that there was a lack of teacher leadership and how can I, as a teacher, um, really seek to lead change in our community, in our building, in our school system uh, that I that I saw the need for. And so I, I really took that to heart and really tried to put everything I could into to leading by example. And when I saw something that I thought was not good for our students of stepping up and, and doing the work necessary to try to change our community and, and to try to change things for the better. And But, you know, to kind of be a teacher leader, right? Like, I, I don't think I've arrived. I continue to, to strive to be a teacher leader every day um, throughout the year at any opportunity I can. And what we need to keep in mind is that it's not about a title. It's not about you know, being in a position of authority. That's not leadership. Um, that's why you can have principals that aren't leaders. And just because you have a title, just because you have a position of authority doesn't mean you're leading anything, right? Being a leader is willing to do the work to serve other people, um, to put your heart and your sweat and your tears and your mind fully into it uh, in order to bring about a more positive outcome for everyone. And uh, we don't see that a lot in education. I think in many buildings, there may only be two to three teachers that are truly leaders that are doing the work. And oftentimes, they're not ones that are being recognized for doing the work. I think about some of the people I've featured um, as my inspiring educators that don't always get recognized for the work, and yet they are fierce leaders. Uh, and a lot of times, the people that do get recognized for leadership, myself included, um, aren't the ones who are really leading that work. And so, you know, I think... Uh, I always want to keep this in mind, <coughs> excuse me, that, you know, really being a teacher leader is getting out of your silo, out of your classroom, out of your focus on just your students, although that's a fine focus to have and we should all be focused on our students as our, as our primary uh, in this profession, um, but getting outside of just that silo, just working in, ch you know, changing your curriculum, like that's a great place to start. But if you're going to be leading, you need to lead b outside of your classroom. You know, invite people in, sure, but you need to lead outside. You need to look at holistically what's going on at your school, what's happening, how are students hurting, how are students not being served, and then, and then come up with a course of action. Even if you don't get support from your administrator, even if you don't get support by the rest of the teachers, you see a need, you start filling that need, and you try to educate people about it, and you try to um, you know, train yourself and get better at that, and you just keep pushing. Uh, if we don't have teachers leading, then the only lens that that comes from is from top down. We need. We are the ones who are with our students every single day. We're the ones who need to be making those connections and to be doing the work. And so I encourage you to step up. There's plenty of ways to get bogged down in, in um, just our basic responsibilities as educators. I understand how much hard work it is, and I appreciate that, and I do it. But it's if we really want to be catalysts for change in education and in our districts, we have to do more. We have to lead. And so, you know, what can you do? Just look around, listen, right? Listen to your students, listen to your colleagues, see what's happening, uh, and then start doing something, right? Like form a committee, work, get resources compiled, work with students, you know, whatever it takes, just start doing something. Uh, that's ultimately, to me, like leadership is doing stuff. It is, you're constantly working, you're constantly um, serving. Leadership is not having a title and telling people what to do. It's doing the work. And so if you're an educator, I encourage you uh, to really think about how are you being a leader? Uh, how are you serving others? And push yourself to be doing it more. Uh, I'm going to continue to do that as well. And, and hopefully when we have enough teacher leadership, uh, we will actually start to see more change in our systems. So, um, yeah, 
we always, there's always more work to do. I know it adds more to your plate, but this is what it's got to be done. Are you about it or are you not? All right, we'll see you next time.